This is a video to talk you through some PowerPoints that students of mine have made in the past. And I just wanted to show you some really good examples. So I'm starting off here with a relatively simple PowerPoint, but it was a really good presentation the student did. He kept it really simple with just a picture and a title and a really nice transition here. And then just talked from the heart and chatted through all the pictures and all the ins and outs of this martial art and it was such a genuine and really insightful informative presentation so it just goes to show you don't need to put a whole load of effects and bells and whistles on for it to be a really good powerpoint this next student decided to choose Mob Wives, the TV series, which is a little bit notorious for kind of trouble and issues with the law. So fitting in with that theme, she decided to put this uh, transition right at the start. So we've got the smashing glass falling down. So that was just a great way to kick off her presentation. This student wanted to look at the issue of plus size modeling and the plus size clothing industry. And each slide really did have a lot of information. So what she did was she used this animations effect where you bring in your pictures and your text step by step. And it really helped because with each piece of information, she would talk it through and explain it through before she clicked the next arrow key. So although right now when you're looking at this screen, it's filling up and it's looking like a lot, when she actually did her talk, it felt like it went step by step in a really measured way and it was a really engaging talk. This PowerPoint worked really well because the student picked a really good background photo, the one with the cup and the stadium, and then steadily brought in all of their images, all of their bullet points, and just talked their way again in a very natural way through a topic that they knew a lot about. These PowerPoints have all been really successful when somebody has a passion in a subject and they've got some knowledge in a subject because straight away they can bring all of their expertise to the design. So this was really good giving us the statistics of three major players within that, that league and then this was the best bit where it was a reflective account of going to that particular match. This PowerPoint's a great example if you're in a creative industry of using a PowerPoint for your mood board. So this was styling for a total look and this student was doing an Alice in Wonderland theme and really went to town on creating a very detailed PowerPoint. Similarly here, we were looking at Wes Craven's career and all of the films, and the student worked really hard to get a lot of the old movie posters and clips from the movies and quotes from the movies to create this very engaging PowerPoint. And what she focused on was how Wes remakes his films through the years. So again, she's using her animation, she breaks up all of the different years of the films and then at the bottom here she puts in a clip link for us on YouTube so for each one she had a trailer clip that she linked to and then she played the trailer and then she spoke through the trailer and the differences between the films when he'd revisited them so it made it a really engaging film so even though it looks quite busy because she's put the animations in and she talked us through step by step it felt like a really natural presentation I think what was also really successful about this PowerPoint was that she would bring in these little quotes from the film. This was a fashion um, presentation all about this male model and the student went into a lot of detail about the significance of all these tattoos and the history of this model using some really high quality photos and then topped it off with a really good bit of footage. And what was great about this was it just linked into all the things the student had spoken about, but it was a really short tailored clip here from this advertising campaign that this model had done. So it just helped to reinforce all the points that the student had made. Um, whilst being a really good clip. This second last PowerPoint that I'm showing you here is a great example of integrating video into your slides. So this student is talking to us all about different roller coasters from around the world. And what she did was she looked really hard and got a clip of being on the roller coaster. So we've got that here on the right hand side. We must on the left hand side, she was talking us through all of the major facts. So the height of the roller coaster, the speed that you would be going at, how many seconds long it would be, um, what it's meant to feel like, who designed it so it was such an effective presentation and then she used this transition to move us along she would give us a little photo a little bit of description and then we'd be off onto our next roller coaster ride she would click play and then talk her way through the facts and the experiences and her evaluation of what it would be like to be on this roller coaster so it just brought the whole experience alive it was so engaging and the passion that she had for the subject just came through so so well
You might need to turn the sound up a little bit here so that you can hear the uh, music footage that this student has put all the way through their PowerPoint. This PowerPoint is a really effective use of talking about a musical band and integrating music clips into all of the different slides. Whilst the student was playing these clips, they were talking through the history of the band, who the members were, what some of their early tracks were and their early style influences. By putting so many tracks of music into the PowerPoint and researching them really well, even going to the extent of looking online for tracks that the group had previously deleted, it really showed a depth of understanding and research that the student had gone into. And seeing as this band wasn't particularly well known by those of us that were watching the PowerPoint, it brought to life the style of the group and we could really imagine them and really kind of understand this student's passion for them and what they enjoyed about their music. I hope you've enjoyed these clips and I hope to put up more in the future.